There's so much to do in Puerto Rico, and I've put together a list of the best places to visit so you can know whether or not Puerto Rico is the right destination for you. If you have an appreciation for food and history, the Old Town San Juan walking food and history tour is the way to go. At the Choco Bar Cortez, I was able to try a delicious chocolate martini as well as a plantain and carnitas taco. Speaking of plantains, it's not uncommon to find trucks delivering fresh plantains to local restaurants, including restaurants like Ivadura, where all of their ingredients are fresh and local. Being on a tour like this, I was able to learn really cool bits of information to bring home with me. This is called culantro. Tastes and smells no, just like cilantro is what I'm told, so let's find out. It smells just like it and tastes just like cilantro, you guys. This is crazy. It's also called wild coriander, so very cool. If you come to Puerto Rico, you can try some of this too. One of my favorite things we ate at this restaurant was their specialty pineapple hot sauce. At La Taberna La Pulo, I was able to try the best Cubano sandwich I've ever had in my life. It literally melted in my mouth. And while we were there, I was able to try some really good uh, craft beers that were local to Puerto Rico. Um, but really, the memorable thing here was the Cubano sandwich. Right down the road from this bar is another bar, one of the top 50 in the world, and it doesn't even have a sign. Our last stop on the walk-in food history tour in Old Town San Juan was at an old convent where nuns lived and we had some delicious flan. If you have ever been to Fremont Street in Las Vegas, you can see the similarities between Distrito T-Mobile and Fremont Street, certainly with a Puerto Rican uh, twist on it as well. You'll have plenty of different restaurants to pick from, open air, there's actually a zip line that runs straight through from the convention center through the Distrito T-Mobile. You can experience plenty of different types of restaurants, some including fresh made guacamole right in front of your table. And you can also enjoy one of their many concerts out in their open space, which make the experience so cool when you have those LED screens right above you, creating this surround sound, uh, very immersive experience. Next, as we travel into Ponce, we visit the family home of Don Q. The Sorales family took much pride in their home as well as their sugar production and, soon later, their rum production as well. Imagine sitting down with the family at this beautifully dressed table. On the sun deck of the Sorales home, you will see beautiful views of the whole city of Ponce. Inside, they also have an original copy of Don Quixote, which is what they named their rum Don Q after. Across the street, they have a very tall cross, which you are able to ride all the way to the top. And if you do, you will see wonderful views of the Sorales family home. It is to your left. And there you go, the Sorales home overlooking the beautiful Ponce. Ponce is full of passion, rich in culture, and you can even plan an exclusive private dance class with some of Ponce's greatest dancers. Along with being a great spot for dancing, Ponce is also home to the best coconut ice cream I've ever had. Ending off the night in Ponce, Puerto Rico with some delicious coconut ice cream. It is the best right by the beautiful colored fountain in the main square here. If you are a coffee fanatic, just like myself, you have to visit Latitude 18. It is in the jungle, a beautiful coffee hacienda, sustainable. They create the most delicious Puerto Rican authentic coffee. I brought a ton of it home with me to share with my husband and I'm probably going to be ordering some more on their website. What makes the, the recipe of our coffee, you know? And this is 100% Puerto Rican coffee. 
we don't mix any of this. You don't no, blend. We don't blend. So this is 100% for the And the majority of this stuff, we produce it. Back in 2017, when Hurricane Maria hit, a lot of their coffee plants were destroyed. But in 2018, they came back flourishing and were able to create the delicious roast Latitude 18 coffee that we can try today. Today, Latitude 18 is a self-sustaining company that creates renewable energy, very uh, community focused. They even raise tilapia fish in pools where they used to wash coffee beans. One of the best parts about visiting this hacienda was getting to make our own coffee with their freshly roasted and ground beans. It was so strong, so robust, very rich in flavor, one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had. Rincon is a beautiful place to visit with great ocean views and beaches. It actually means little corner and is the surfing capital of Puerto Rico. Rincon is home to a lighthouse from the early 1900s that is still functioning today. Ron Del Barilito is the oldest artisanal rum company in Puerto Rico. They actually have some of the original equipment from when they first opened. They also have, uh, today it's one of their offices, but it's one of the places where they created and produced the rum. They hand make all of their wooden flights that they serve their rum tastings in as well, which was very cool to watch. The owner still lives on the property in this home that you see right here. And they have a really great storehouse. It smells like molasses in there. You look up from floor to ceiling, there are just uh, barrels and barrels uh, of rum. It was a lot more richer, silkier, butterier, creamier in flavor. The fruits are gonna At the end of the tour and tasting, you can treat yourself to one of their handcrafted cocktails. I chose to try their homemade pina colada. Last but not least, when you're in Puerto Rico, don't forget to enjoy the view. Remember to subscribe down below and call me to plan your next trip to Puerto Rico.